everyone and welcome to the dentist talk. Today's video is another one in the series of dental cements. We'll be discussing about zinc phosphate cement. Zinc phosphate cement is also called as the crown and bridge cement or zinc oxyphosphate cement. It is the oldest of lutein cements and is used for looting of restorations as high strength bases, temporary restorations and looting of orthodontic bands and brackets. They are classified into looting and bases and lining cements. Zinc phosphate cement is available as powder and liquid system or capsules of pre-proportioned powder and liquid and it is supplied in shades of yellow, grey, golden brown and pink and white. Let us now look at the composition of zinc phosphate cement. The composition of the powder can be remembered with the mnemonic g mousy where Zi represents zinc oxide, Ma refers to magnesium oxide, O refers to other oxides and Si refers to silica. Zinc oxide acts as principal constituent, magnesium oxide aids in sintering, other oxides like bismuth trioxide, calcium oxide and barium oxide improve smoothness of mix and silica acts as filler and aids in sintering. The liquid composition of zinc phosphate cement can be remembered by the mnemonic FOG where PHO stands for phosphoric acid which reacts with zinc oxide. W stands for water that controls the rate of reaction. A stands for aluminium phosphate or sometimes zinc phosphate that acts as a buffer to reduce the rate of reaction. A stands for aluminium and ZI stands for zinc. Coming to the manufacture, the ingredients are mixed and heated at temperatures between 1000 degrees and 1400 degrees which is termed as sintering. After sintering, cake is formed which is cooled quickly. This causes the material to crack and helps in grinding of the material into a fine powder. This process is known as fritting. Liquid is produced by adding aluminium and their compounds into orthophosphoric acid solution. Coming to the setting reaction of zinc phosphate cement, when the powder is mixed with liquid, phosphoric acid attacks the surface of the particles and releases zinc ions. The aluminium in liquid complexes with the phosphoric acid and the zinc ions to form a zinc alumino phosphate gel. This is an exothermic reaction. The set cement has a cord structure consisting of unreacted zinc oxide particles embedded in a matrix of zinc alumino phosphate. The setting time of zinc phosphate cement it is 2.5 to 8 minutes for looting type and 2.5 to 6 minutes for base and lining type. The factors that affect the setting time during manufacture process are sintering temperature. Higher the temperature, slower is the setting. Particle size. Finer particles lead to quick reaction due to greater surface area. Water content of liquid. Excess water accelerates and insufficient water retards the reaction. Buffering agents. Buffering agents slow down the reaction. The factors that are under the control of operator are Temperature Higher temperatures accelerate the reaction. Powder and liquid ratio More the liquid, slower is the reaction. Rate of addition of powder to liquid Reaction is slower if the powder is incorporated slowly. Mixing time Longer the mixing time, slower is the rate of reaction. The properties of zinc phosphate cement The compressive strength is 104 to 119 MPa which is high. The tensile strength is 5.5 MPa making it weak and brittle. 
The modulus of elasticity is 13.7 Giga which is high and makes it stiff and resistant to elastic deformation. The solubility and disintegration. Zinc phosphate cement shows greater disintegration and maximum solubility of 0.3. The film thickness. Smaller the particle size, lesser is the film thickness. Zinc phosphate cements are good thermal insulators and the cement is opaque. The pH of cement at the time of cementation is 2 and it gradually changes to 5.5. The pulpal response is considered moderate. Coming to the manipulation of zinc phosphate cement, a stainless steel spatula is used and the mixing time is up to 1 minute 15 seconds. The powder to liquid ratio is 1.4 grams to 0.5 ml of liquid. A cool glass lap is used in order to delay the setting time and the liquid should be dispensed just before mixing. The powder is added in small increments. Mixing is done with stainless steel spatula using brisk circular motion. Each increment is mixed for 15 to 20 seconds. A large area is covered during mixing in order to dissipate the exothermic heat. Appropriate consistency is attained by addition of more powder to liquid and not by allowing a thin mix to thicken. The field of operation should be dry and varnish is applied at the margins where the cement is exposed. The advantages and disadvantages of zinc phosphate cement. The advantages include long track record with proven reliability, good compressive strength and the disadvantages are there is no chemical adhesion and it is not indicated if the retention is poor. There is no anti-karyogenic property and there is pulp irritation and poor aesthetics. It cannot be used with translucent restorations like crowns and veneers. Thank you for watching. Do like the video if you found it informative. Share it with your friends and subscribe to the Dentist Hub for more updates.